Welcome to the video today. Today is going to be a little bit of a special, special video. So, my goobies, I was going to do a Q&A video for you guys. Had a bunch of questions lined up that you guys asked on both the community tab and the Instagram and the Discord. And I was just going to answer all of those in one big video. But then I was thinking, why not answer the questions while opening a Cosmic Eclipse booster box, baby! Oh! <laughs> I picked up an extra one of these, so I was like, well, we might as well just combo, do both, answer questions, open some Pokemon packs, have a great time. But that's what we're going to be doing today. I realized that I open Pokemon products here on YouTube, but I'm probably just some rando that popped up on your feed and you're like, who this? <laughs> So I figured you guys could get to know a little bit more about me while we open some Pokemon packs. So let's do it! Yay! Nah. So I realized Mr. Sloth hasn't made an appearance in a video lately. So here we go. Back at it again with that Mr. Sloth. <laughs> and then we have lots of packs to open. I actually opened it and like folded the thing back and I'm being all professional this time you guys. I hope you're proud of me. Let me pull up my handy dandy questions. This is so bad. I just got the new iPhone and it has face unlock or whatever it's called <laughs> but it never recognizes me. I don't know why. I have to like redo it. I don't know. It never recognizes my face so I guess I'm just an intruder. Well, first question, first pack. This is actually a really interesting one because I feel like a lot of people don't know even though I drop hints and I say things all the time that are like, I'm super noob. But I recently started collecting Pokemon. It's funny too, we got Eyeball Energy, uh, Rapidash. I didn't start collecting Pokemon because I was like a hardcore Pokemon fan. I just recently got into it February of this year, so very recently. And before that, I like didn't really play the Pokemon games, didn't watch the anime. Oh, look at that baby! A Stoutland. What? Oh my god, I love this so much. It looks like he's taking one of those like Japanese hot baths. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but it just looks like he's taking a steam bath. I love this. Oh my gosh, this is the little dog Pokemon. I can never remember his name too. <laughs> I always call him Houndoom. <laughs> Wow, I actually am so in love with that. So in love with that. Oh, we got the diseased frog on the back. No! <laughs> so February this year, I just got into collecting Pokemon. And it wasn't because I was a hardcore fan or anything. I actually started because my YouTube recommendations kept popping up of people opening Pokemon packs. And that's actually where I started watching and learning about the Pokemon TCG. Not about playing it or anything, but just opening packs, and I loved it. I loved people opening these packs, pulling awesome cards, the sensation behind it. I just really, really liked it. So me and Taco bought our first ETB February of this year. I think it was like Fates Collide or something like that. It was something like so, so old. <laughs> and we were like, bro, it's on sale. <laughs> <laughs> Not knowing absolutely anything about TCG and then we we got some good pulls from it And I think we just kind of fell in love with it from there and that's when the addiction started uh, And I've been going to a meetings ever since for collecting cardboard. I mean what? <laughs> Fireball energy and next question. Do I play Minecraft? Uh, yeah, I play Minecraft and I have the best treehouse ever that has two llamas living underneath. So heck yeah, I love Minecraft. Reverse Hollow Glalie and a regular Glalie. Dude, this is just like last time I got this. What the heck? I swear this is wild. This thing creeps me out so much. Like I feel like I'm gonna see this in my dreams screaming at me. <laughs> oh, that is a Reverse Hollow Rare though. So there we go. Spicy boy, spicy boy. I actually just spent so much time Oh my gosh, so much time sorting my cards yesterday. Sorted out all my reverse holo rares. Sorted out all my regular rares. It was bananas, took me hours, but they're all sorted and beautiful now, yay! Where do I work outside of YouTube? I actually don't really consider YouTube being my work. Actually, no, that's totally a lie. I definitely do, because I spend so much time on my videos. <laughs> It's like full-time work, really. It's so crazy. Uh, but I actually work at a card shop doing the graphic design and social media marketing. So my local card shop is where I work, which is funny because I feel like it just furthers my addiction of uh, Pokemon cards. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's where I get all my cards. 
and that's also my place of work and that's also where I go to tournaments on the weekends and stuff too so I'm kind of at my work like every day of the week. <laughs> Bacon, ham, or sausage for breakfast? Oh my gosh, that's a tough one. Dude, I love breakfast food. I will eat pancakes for dinner every day of my life if I could. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with, oh, oh, definitely not ham. I'm not a big ham fan. I always substitute my ham when I go to IHOP. So not a big ham fan, but I would have to say, uh, what would I bring if I was on a desert island? Probably bacon, probably, probably bacon. Although I really do love sausage. Like I feel like more, as of late, I've been in the mood for sausage more than bacon, which is weird. I like dipping my sausage in maple syrup too, so I'm a little weirdo. The sad Azarel, oh no. Rufflet, Oddish, Ralt, Cerrone, and Cheese. <gasps> no! We got the reverse hello, Cynthia and Kaylin. Yo, that's my jam. That's what's up. She's our gold card today, the full art version, but dang, I'll take a reverse hello any day of the week. Baby? Is that a rare? No, it's not. It's uncommon. I'll take it. Will this comment be featured? Why yes, Laszlo. It will. <laughs> Alright, come on. I'm ready for a white pack, dude. Where my white pack at? Ooh, we got a fist bump energy, though. Maybe that's some hype. Maybe that's some hype. Uh, Professor Oak setup. Magnemate. Trap Inch. Sneasel. Sfeel. Reverse Hollow Sfeel. Oh! Eduardo the Armaldo. <laughs> I was trying to rhyme it and I feel like that did not work at all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> when building a deck, do you go through and do a custom deck of your own or do you build one based on the meta at the time? If you do build a custom deck, how do you start your process of which cards to add? Um, I actually do both. When I build a deck, I'll either go off of a deck online that I find and I dig it and then I add my own spice, my own customizations to it. Uh, <laughs> water energy or I will just build one from scratch and how I would start the process for that is literally going on my online TCG and just flipping through whatever typing I'm trying to make in that deck if I'm starting with a uh, GX obviously I will start with the GX and see what kind of supporter Pokemon need to surround that GX card and help it to do better as a GX reverse hollow onyx and a lantern bro where are the pulls today where the pulls be? Where they at? Is that a rare? That is not a rare. Rip. But yeah, most of my process starts with online TCG. That's why I always encourage people to get online TCG because you could just flip through all of the cards in online TCG. Just flip through and read them all individually and see what they do. And that's actually how a lot of people find these spicy additions to decks that may be from a couple sets ago, but then they suddenly fit in the current meta, but everyone's already forgotten about them. But then you can find them and bring them back. That's actually how I added Skarmory to my Lucario Melmetal deck. That was a Pokemon no one even knew about, and that is a solid, solid Pokemon for that deck. I, he saved me so many times, but no one really knew or cared about him. Most of the time, if you're going to get into real competitive play, you'll probably want to build off of a meta deck, is what I would say. It's kind of hard to get spicy when you're not like a super skilled player and you don't know like the entire encyclopedia of cards. <laughs> it's hard to add your own spice, but I mean it works sometimes. I would definitely try to add some cool stuff into your local tournaments and see how it does. Reverse Hello Wall Rain and <gasps> Grandpa! <laughs> That's a reverse rare though. Ooh, we're getting all those reverse rare water boys. Water boys. Water boys. Ooh. Yo, we still have yet to get a white pack. I bet you this is the white pack. You know what? I'm gonna open this one since it just jumped out at me. Let's open this bad boy. What's your favorite card of all time? Oof, that's a tough one. Uh, probably that slow bro. Actually, I, I'm like, that's a tough one. And then I answered it like a second later. <laughs> probably that slow bro. Uh, that has really cute art. Honestly, that's how I judge what my favorite cards are is if they have like super cute art. Fist bump energy, baby. Like, as you can see from uh, all of my videos, the ones I'm most shocked and happy with are the ones with adorable art. That's why I love that Chansey card so much that had the cute little Squirtle watering can in it. Oh my god. That one is my life reverse holo. Tagi Demaru. I still don't know how to say that dude's name. And I'm our shadow. What the heck is going on, man? Where are the pulls at? Where are the pulls? <laughs> this box better be stacked. Stacked in the back. Got that stack in the back, baby. 
all my cards that I really really enjoy and love are the really cute ones so they're probably cards that you guys don't even care about but I just hold near and dear to my heart. A lot of the McDonald's promos, actually, especially the McDonald's promo Psyduck, oh my god. That one with the shattered foil is so, so cute. That's how I judge them, is based on just pure cuteness. Nothing else. Absolutely nothing else. <laughs> Which you guys are probably like, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh well, reverse Hello Oddish and a Mimikyu. Ooh, that's a good Mimikyu though. He is a rare. He's my boy. Who would you rather fight? 25 Magikarp size Snorlaxes or one Snorlax size Magikarp? <laughs> what? Uh, well, that's easy. I'd probably go with the 25 baby Snorlaxes because I'm pretty sure that would be the cutest scene ever to just have a bunch of baby Snorlaxes running at you. And then you could just, you know, like smack them away because they're tiny. <laughs> Reverse Halotropius and a Sunflora, another non hollow rare. What's going on? What is happening? Yo, what is this box? Is it because I'm like taken from the top? I don't understand what's happening. We still have yet to get a single pull. What got you into Pokemon TCG? Do you play any others? So actually what got me into playing competitively was my local card shop, which I actually now work at, as I said before. Um, I met some of the competitive players there and they kind of taught us how to play. And me and Taco have been in love with it since then, man. Oh my gosh. I love playing competitive TCG. It is so much fun. It's given us a hobby to get into and to do. Uh, you know, it's kind of an expensive one, but you know, I'd rather be collecting Pokemon cards than collecting old spoons. <laughs> All right, we have reverse hollow clay. Okay, let's see if this is the box. Ready? Oh, we got a DX, baby. It's just a regular, so nothing super, super spice, but this is a very good card for gameplay. And a reverse holo trainer as well. Super spice. Volcarona, super happy about that. And that is our first pull from this box. What did I say, you guys? I was like, this is packed. I mean, I guess it kind of made sense that that might be a hack though, because we hadn't pulled much, so the odds were, were in my favor, I guess. <laughs> do I play any other TCGs? No, I do not. I only play Pokemon TCG. I can't even actually imagine getting into another TCG just because of how costly it would be, especially magic, dude. So working at a card shop, I have a lot of, you know, I see a lot of other TCGs and I edit videos, a lot of magic videos. So I kind of understand the world of magic and Magic the Gathering and what's going on in that realm of things. But I, I think, I love Pokemon so much because it has cute little Pokemon like Alolan Sandshrew. Like, look at that dude. He's just dancing in a, in a little cave of crystals. What a cutie. He's chilling. And that is why I could never give up Pokemon TCG. Like, I could only handle one TCG at a time. And I don't think I would trade Pokemon for any other TCG. So, I don't play any others. So, reverse Alolan Sandshrew and an Entei. Ooh. I don't know why I took this dude out. He's not the spicy boy. He's just a common. <laughs> I just love him so much. If you were a Pokemon and you got dizzy, what would spin around your head? Stars or birds? Um, I would actually say ducks. Little duckies. That's what I think of when I think of confusion. It's like, duckies. Probably duckies and stars. Combo of the two. Let's see what we can get here. Eyeball Energy, Ambipalm, Golduck, Will, Cricket Hot, Woobat, Ducklet, Helioptile, Cosmog, Reverse Hollow Rotom, and oh, Alolan Sand Slash Non Hollow. Cosmic Eclipse getting ready to be legal in competitive play. Which build are you most hyped to play? I'm working on Flygon Silvali. Um, wow, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. There's so many good builds that are gonna be insane for Cosmic Eclipse, but I think the one I'm most excited to at least try is the baby trio, the three babies trio, just to see if it could work in some way, shape, or form. Like, I would love to win a game just using that baby trio GX, dude. Love, I would love that. Reverse Hollow Dark Tricks, is that a rare? No, that's not uncommon. And Mad Cargo, what? Bro! How many packs is this? I hope you guys are ready for a really hype halfway through this video polls. <laughs> this is so bad right now. <laughs> All 
Are you playing Sword and Shield? Heck yeah, I'm playing Sword and Shield. I got a lot of people who ask this. And my starter is gonna be, ready for it? Grass monkey, that funky monkey. Grass monkey, chunky, that funky monkey. I am so excited for Sword and Shield. I think it's gonna be bombdiggitydjunior.com. Uh, don't get me wrong though. Reverse hold, great catcher, and <gasps> oh, an Alolan Persian. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a super common card. Someone said this in my last video. They're like, bro, this is in like every box. It is a very, very common card. Uh, the the full art and the rainbow version are not as common though for it. But I mean, I'm happy to pull it. I guess I don't think it's gonna be a super expensive card, but. I think it's going to be good at decks, so I'm happy with that. One thing I think is kind of cheeseball about the Gigantamax thing is that the Pokemon have these really cool, like, alternate Gigantamax forms, right? Where they look different and they are different from their original form. But then it's kind of just, like, glazed over because they're giant red, like, holographic dudes. You know what I mean? Like, you don't see their true, like, different colors, how it really is in its true form. Like, Mega Evolutions were really cool because it was like a whole different version of a cool Pokemon you like. But the Gigantamax, it kind of like gets rid of the cool art of it because it's just like a holographic red, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> reverse Holo Vicatini, that's a rare, that's a reverse holo rare. And an Alolan Muck creeping in your trash can, baby. What are your other interests besides the TCG world? Um, that's a good question actually. We got a Steel Magnolia here. Um, I also do photography, graphic design, um, I, pretty much any sort of like digital art I absolutely love so much. Coughing, drill burr, swirlix. I also actually sing. I have a SoundCloud, which I never really put out there, but I play the ukulele and I sing as well. So, swirlix, reverse hollow woobat, and oh, at least it's a hollow, at least it's a hollow. <laughs> We got a holographic Stoutland chilling with his handlebar mustache hanging out. I will take it. Not a GX, but it's our first holo. Yeah, that's our first holo of the of the crew. Wow, that's crazy. Other hobbies, um, let me try to think of what else I do. I play video games. I love video games. I have like pretty much every console. Uh, and I PC game as well. Right now I'm working on my Harvest Moon on my 3DS. I absolutely love that game. I'm playing Harvest Moon New Beginning and I just purchased a Yak, you guys. I purchased a Yak in this game. How cool is that? <laughs> uh, interior design is also something I'm very, very interested in. I have Sims 4 purely because I just do interior design on Sims. Like I don't even use it to play Sims. I just design houses. <laughs> in it. I haven't done that in so long though. I haven't had any time outside of like YouTube and work. So, but yeah, a lot of my, ooh, we got another one. Mimikyu, beautiful, full art trainer, beautiful card, and a Zatu non-holographic as well. So I'm happy to have another cool trainer, but sad it's not a GX pull. So sad. Pretty much anything creative I'm pretty heavily involved with. Um, I also have a Dago. I have a doggo, my little black mamba, panini, paniners, poopy girl. So I, I like going out with her. I take her to the dog park all the time. She's a cutie. So I don't know if that really counts as like a hobby, taking my dog outside. <laughs> but that's something else I do outside of YouTube. We got a spiel, a passimian, a rowlet, a lilup, a reverse hello, a meganamite, and ooh, another GX, the oricorio. I don't think we've pulled this one yet. Such a cutie! I'm so happy to have this card. This is a really good competitive TCG card as well. So happy to have that little dude. What or who inspired you in the world of Pokemon? A lot of the Poketubers actually inspired me. One of the first Poketubers I started watching was Breaking Nate, actually. Eyeball Energy here. We had a Heracross, a Raccoonid, and I don't know, I just fell in love with it. Like, oh my gosh, Max Mofo as well, I think is absolutely hilarious. He definitely has some crude humor, but I love his channel. I think his videos are hilarious. Reverse holo, Passimian, and <gasps> it's a holo, but it's not that spicy. Holographic Excadrill, spicy, spicy boy. That's our second holographic, wow. This box so far has not been that crazy. Ooh. I actually watch a lot of the Poketubers on YouTube. 
I creep on a lot of you guys, even the smaller PokeTubers as well. I'm creeping on all your guys' channels, just so you know. I secretly stalk you. I mean, what? <laughs> Piplup! Oh my gosh! The Piplup into the Piplup. I love it. I absolutely love it. That is the cute little character art Piplup and Cradily on the back there, non-holographic. So another character art card. This has me a little bit worried because when I opened the 12 boxes at my work, I found that the more character cards you pull, usually the less regular GX cards you pull, like not significantly less. These definitely aren't replacing the GX pulls, but the boxes that I got like four or five character cards, I would usually get like five or six GX pulls. Whereas the ones where I got two or three character cards would had like eight or nine GX like hits, which is absolutely insane. So I'm hoping I don't have one of those like heavy character arts and low GX pulls, but we shall see, we shall see. Have you seen the Pokemon anime? Have a great weekend, love you so much. Oh, I love you too. Have a great weekend to you too, man. And yes, I have seen the Pokemon anime. I've only seen the first like the very first season, I guess you'd say, of the Pokemon anime. Um, I've actually only seen a handful of animes. I love animes, but I never know like which one to watch. And I don't think I could get myself into like a hardcore, like five billion episode anime. I usually try to watch ones that aren't like tons and tons of episodes so I can somewhat handle it. Reverse Hall of Ralts and... <gasps> Yo, Professor Oak's just like, yo, check out my Pokeballs, bro. <laughs> I love this so much. Dude, I haven't even seen this before. Wow, look at how pretty that is. Wow. I played this card so heavily at pre-release, and I think it's actually going to have a pretty decent amount of play in regular TCG standard as well. This is a pretty good card, in my opinion. I love this card. It's so pretty. I'm so happy. Oh gosh, we have the full art. I never pull full arts as well, full art trainers. Wow, it's not the Cynthia waifu tag team, but I mean, I'll take it. I will take it. That's our first like legit, legit pull right there. Let me organize these cards a little bit for you guys. I've been a fan since your Detective Pikachu unboxing. Yeah, I still don't know what a Gooby is. <laughs> A lot of people ask that actually. They're like, what the heck's a gooby? Like, what is a gooby? Some person actually mis mistook it for a goomy and they started calling it goomy and I was just like, oh gosh. But a gooby, to set the record straight, is something I started calling my Twitch community a while ago. Ooh, we got the Blacephalon Ultra Beast. That's a reverse rare. Yo, that's sick actually, that reverse rare. Oh, I love it. And the Heliolisk, non holographic. Yo, that one is awesome. Oh, baby! Super happy to have that one. It's a spin-off of Goobers, which my mom actually used to call me and all my siblings growing up. Fist bump energy! So it's kind of like a combination of Goobers and Cuties. So it's a Gooby. So Gooby is just a Goober that's a cutie. So it's a it's it's a cute little term I have for you guys. Reverse hollow cupcake boy! Slur puff. Slurping his puff and not hollow wheezing. Oh my god, this box is trash! It's bump energy! Do you collect only rare cards or try for the entire set? Uh, I usually go for the entire set. We have tons and tons of bulk. If I was just gonna collect only rare cards, I would just buy them single, single buy them, honestly. I would save so much money that way. But me and Taco like to collect like sets of cards, so that is what we do. Reverse Hollow Zangoos and <gasps> Oh my gosh! A Silvali GX Rainbow. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll just tell you guys. I haven't edited the video yet, but I actually pulled this in my ETB as well, and I've seen a lot of people pull this one, so I feel like the Silvali GX is more of a common rainbow rare, I wanna say. I don't know, I've just seen a lot of people pull this card, so it's not horrible. I'm not unhappy 
I have two of these bad boys now, but um, I, I would have liked a non a non duplicate, some variation in my life. <laughs> but I still think this is an absolutely beautiful card. I think this will actually be good for gameplay as well. But I will not be playing with it because I don't play with rainbows. I don't I don't got that money like that to play with rainbows. Uh, I'm too much of a collector to play with super spicy cards like this. I can't do it. I can't bring myself to do it. I'll play with my cards that have spaghetti sauce on them. <laughs> How much money do you spend on packs? Uh, too much? Too much? <laughs> is that is that a valid answer? Too much? Is that is that cool? <laughs> no, me, me and Taco spend a lot of money on packs, which is kind of struggle bus. I love opening content for you guys, and it's amazing, but it is so extraordinarily expensive, which is why I was so happy to get partnered with YouTube because it's actually kind of helped a little bit. All of the money that I make off of ad revenue is just recycled back into buying product for the channel. So crap on the ball, reverse holo and a Apollo sand, not holographic. This is a um, reverse holo rare though, so that's cool. That's why thank you so much to everyone that watches my ads and doesn't have ad blocker on and stuff <laughs> because it helps a bunch, even if it's only like five cents an ad, it, it stacks up and it helps so much. So thank you guys a lot. You're helping the content for this channel, so you guys are to bombdegadajunior.com. Why am I your favorite player ever? Rahul, get out of here. Get out of here, Rahul. Get out of here. <laughs> Why is your name Frosty Caribou? A little history will do. Uh, so that's actually a funny question. I get asked that a lot, and it's. I feel like I always let people down with the answer to that question because it's really not that like awesome. It's, it's nothing crazy like, oh. I, I was hiking up a mountain in Alaska only to get to the top and see a beautiful mystical caribou and that's when I knew I wanted to carry the name of Frosted Caribou. Like it's nothing like that at all. <laughs> I was looking for an Xbox gamer tag uh, back when Xbox Live first came out and I was trying to think of a cool gamer tag that I liked and I couldn't think of one so I was on one of those websites that are like random name generators and I was just clicking and it was giving me some random names and then on that website it actually didn't even come from a random name generator I accidentally clicked an advertisement for race horses like betting on race horses and uh, two horses on the roster one was frosted and one was caribou and I was like let's combo those Yay! <laughs> so I don't know, I just liked that name combined. I liked the way it was written too. Like I wrote it out and I was like, all right, if it's cute how I write it, then I'll, I'll take it. I don't know. It was like way too much of a process for an Xbox gamer tag. But then when I started Twitch streaming, I just kind of carried over the gamer tag onto Twitch stream and I just had that name ever since. So I, I caribous are not my favorite animal. My favorite animal is a koala. So I don't know. <laughs> A lot of people are just like, wow, so mystical, magical, must be some crazy story behind that. And it's, it's really not. <laughs> All right, we got a holographic Dusk Door. That is our, what, third holo? Yeah, that's our third holo of the crew. Guys, ditto your favorite Pokemon, I ask, because I'm a ditto collector too. Yo, fellow ditto collectors, I dig it. So ditto's actually not my favorite Pokemon though. Psyduck is my favorite Pokemon. Ditto is a very close second. It actually goes like Psyduck and then Ditto, Snorlax, Lickitung, Slowbro, or Slowpoke. They're kind of the same for me. Um, I think that's it. Those those are kind of all my like second place favorite Pokemon. So not my favorite top tier. Psyduck will always be in that spot. But Ditto is definitely like a second tier super love of mine. And I think it's just because he's just a little blob of jelly. I love him. He's so cute. Reverse Hello Erica and an Empoleon. We got another reverse trainer at least. But another non holo rare. Oh! <laughs> What's my least favorite Pokemon? Ah, uh, that one's easy. The lawnmower Pokemon. <laughs> the household appliance line of Pokemon that I think are absolutely the most uncreative garbage Pokemon I've ever seen in my life. And I will never like that Pokemon. We got a Hillbilly Doop Dap Day. Ooh, I don't think I had this one yet. This is Clay and his cute little Excadrill. Gotta go hacking through the oil mines. <laughs> and then a Groudon, non-holographic. <laughs> How do you sort and care for your prized Pokemon cards? Uh, the most expensive Pokemon cards me and Taco have 
are actually in like a hard case and displayed on my back shelf and we're probably actually going to send them in to get graded and then they'll be in like PSA cases. So that is probably what I would do for any card that's like a really expensive card. For the ones that I just like because they're cute, I actually have them in a special little box that I have. Uh, ooh, we got a holographic. Holographic Magneton. Okay, okay. I need more of those Magnetons, so I'm not super upset about that one, but dang. No GX. Yeah, any of the cute cards, I have a little box that's like, those cute Pokemon cards. They're probably like two cents each, but I, I just love them, so I keep them all together. And when I'm feeling sad, I'll take them all out and I'll look at their cute little faces, and then I'm happy. Yay! What would be the most useful Pokemon for my day-to-day -day lifestyle? Oh, that's such a hard question. Wow, that's such a hard question. I gotta think about this one for a sec. Oh, man, I don't know the answer to this one. See, I feel like I'm thinking about it in such a lame way. I'm like, well, it can't be too big, otherwise it won't fit through doors. I feel like that's like not what I should be thinking about. <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of an answer to this one. Dang. Ah, oh, I guess if I was to, if I were to say like for just day to day, like what would I use? I would probably choose something that's like can beat people up. <laughs> I know that sounds horrible, but I think it'd be cool to have my own little like bodyguard, you know, something that could attack someone if they're trying to attack me. That's probably what I would choose. So probably some sort of like fighting Pokemon. Maybe like a Lucario or something like that. That's that's what I would think. Uh, otherwise, if it wasn't helping me with anything like that or like doing daily tasks for me, it would probably just be like something really cute, like a lick of tongue or so. Oh my gosh, a Silvali! <laughs> Reverse Hollow Lily's Poke Doll and a Silvali GX, baby. I don't know, you guys help me choose. What would be a good like bodyguard? Pokemon that could just beat people up for me. <laughs> we did get another poll though, Silvali GX. I don't have the regular version of that one yet, so I'm happy to have that poll. Uh, and we got the rainbow out of this too, so if I was a hardcore Silvali lover, I'd be happy with this box, that's for sure. If you could get rid of one Pokemon forever, which would it be? The lawnmower Pokemon? Same answer. <laughs> I hate that Pokemon, man. He's so lame. How tall am I? I'm actually 5'9", so I'm actually pretty tall. I'm a giant giraffe. I'm I'm pretty tall. I think it's like 70% my legs, honestly. I have a pretty small, like, upper torso area, and then my legs are just like half my body. <laughs> I'm all legs, baby. <laughs> all right, we have a reverse holo chinchu and <gasps> the babies. Okay. Okay, that's another pull. So that's like a seven box here. So this is still not a bad box. I know all the pulls were at the end and it's kind of like, oh, at least we have the fuller Professor Oak setup. And we got a bunch of GX pulls, which I need to collect because you need sets of four, three or four for decks. So that's important to have all the regular GXs. When collecting what TCG products are best and what do you do with your bulk cards? Ah. Uh, I like to collect all the ETBs because I like the dice and stuff that come in them. Uh, I like collecting all of the cool dice and cool coins, like blister packs that come with coins. I like collecting coins. So that's like kind of personal preference, I guess, what you like collecting. But other than that, I would just go with straight booster boxes if you're trying to collect a lot of cards at once. That's, that's definitely my hardcore advice there. The booster boxes are the best. And then, um, oop, what do I do with my bulk cards? Well, currently I have like seven boxes of bulk cards, like giant, like 3,000 count boxes in our guest room. So that's what I have currently done with my, <laughs> my bulk cards. But you can actually sell them online for more booster boxes or more cards and stuff like that. So I will probably just end up selling them um, to get more cards and further feed my addiction. Yay! Reverse Hall Cosmog and oh, yes! A Black Curum! Yo, I'm actually psyched for this and it's a hollow. That's another hollow for us. Black Curum is a solid, solid card. I mean, it does 200 damage though. 200 damage, you guys, but it's four energies. But that card is just so cool. I have like 75 million of the white Curum cards, but the black one is so pretty. Ow! 
Oh, I love it. We have two packs left, so I feel like I have not answered enough of these questions. I'm so sorry if I didn't get to answer your question. I feel bad. Where are you from? Where were you born? I was actually born in Hawaii, which shocks a lot of people, but that's where I was born. And then I grew up in Northern Virginia, like the DC area. So I grew up on the East Coast of the US. Uh, but now I'm living in Nashville, Tennessee, baby. Getting that hillbilly laugh on. <laughs> What's one of my goals for the Pokemon card game? I don't know if that means like a goal personally for the Pokemon card game. My goal for myself would to just be get better at the game, get more proficient, uh, play better competitively. I would love to get into the competitive Pokemon scene. Uh, I just don't know if I'd be able to balance that with YouTube content creation and everything else, but I would absolutely love that. I think that'd be awesome. Reverse Hollow Marshall, that's a reverse rare. Ooh, and a crap out of non holographic on the back there. My goal for the Pokemon card game overall, if that is what the question meant, is that, I don't know, man. I'm kind of mixed with the TCG. Pokemon TCG is in an interesting spot right now as far as the like competitive play goes. Standard Pokemon TCG has gotten very stale. It's kind of boring right now with the meta currently. Cosmic Eclipse I think is going to fix a lot of that and make it more interesting and spice things up a bit. But with with like the tag teams being introduced with these really high HP Pokemon that hit super hard for like two or three energies that you can easily charge up. Um, it's it's kind of tough to compete with non-GX decks, which kind of makes me sad because I love non-GX decks and I love people getting creative with deck creations and stuff, which this current meta has kind of like said, no, 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 no creativity for you today. I would say my goal for the Pokemon TCG game as a whole is for them to not go too crazy with just overpowering GX decks, to kind of give some support to non-GX decks, get some more search items out there, allow people to be more creative and to have some more room to build interesting decks instead of having the same copy pasta deck every, you know, two people that play, it's like the same deck. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens when Sword and Shield comes out in TCG, but I'm really excited to see what the new mechanic is that they're going to be introducing for Sword and Shield into TCG. I cannot wait to see what they have in store. We shall see if it works out for us. Helium tile and, oh, my ticket rooster boy, no. Non-holographic as well. Okay guys, so these are all our pulls from this booster box. We have uh, a, quite a few reverse hollow trainers, a bunch of reverse hollow rares, which I'm happy with. We got more reverse hollow rares than hollow rares, which is cool. Uh, two spicy pulls, the Silvoli GX Rainbow, which is a duplicate for me. Kind of sad about that a little bit, uh, but I don't want to be ungrateful because a rainbow is a rainbow at the end of the day, and he's really cool looking still. And then Professor Oak's setup as well. That beautiful, beautiful full art trainer. Happy with that one. Um, I, I just like his stance on that photo. He's just like, check it out, bro. <laughs> I love it. And then we have a bunch of GXs over here. It's really good GXs, actually. I'm happy with all of those pulls. We got some amazing ones for gameplay, which is hype. So overall, this is actually a pretty decent box. It was a seven hit box with four character cards. So not bad whatsoever. I'm happy about that. And we got a bunch of cool stuff for the collection too. So overall, very happy with this opening. I'm so sorry if I didn't get to your question that you asked me. I'll have to do another one of these at some point in the near future because I feel like that was so many questions and I did not get to all of them. So sorry about that, my goobers. But I will answer one more. What made you want to start streaming Pokemon? Love your work and content, Gooby. Thank you so much. So happy to hear you like the content. So I actually started streaming a couple of years ago, just in general. Uh, I was not in a good place in my life. I was really lonely, pretty, pretty rough in my place in life. And uh, streaming actually turned that around so much for me. Streaming gave me so much confidence in myself and it helped me get through a lot a lot in my life that I was struggling through at the time. And it was kind of the only thing that was there for me for a very long period of my life. So I'm like forever grateful to streaming for what it's given me and the people I've met through Twitch. 
And getting into YouTube is actually kind of the same time I got into Pokemon as well. Pokemon kind of gave me that same like sensation, I guess. It made me happy. It allowed me to look at these cute little Pokemon and feel like such joy for it and have this hobby that I really enjoyed doing. Opening up packs and pulling cards and seeing what you can get. Collecting all these cards and then getting involved with the community and stuff on top of that has just been next level for me as well. Meeting the cool people in this community and the people that open Pokemon cards and share this communal love for something that we all enjoy and it just makes me super happy at the end of the day and it's it's cool because this thing that I got into when I was in a rough spot and it was like what was helping me through is now kind of like turned around and I can be content for people to try to help them through rough parts of their life too and I think that's a really really cool thing for me to be able to do so yeah, I don't know. At the end of the day, like, it's just Pokemon content, but it means so, so much to me. And I hope you guys see that in, like, the hard work I put into my content. And I, I just want to bring happiness to you guys, because you guys bring tons of happiness to my life. And so does Pokemon, too, so. Okay, I'm done being mushy. I'm all for it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know some of those questions I was kind of rushing through and we were opening Pokemon at the same time, multitasking, and that's something I'm so bad at. But I appreciate you guys hanging around. Hopefully you got to know a little bit more about me. If you have any more questions, I will try to answer as many of them as I can in the comments below. If you guys are wanting to ask me anything in addition, if I didn't get to answer your question. And uh, yeah, until next time, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye -bye.